Hi there, my name is Raymond. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing a selfie on the iPhone and I have the GoPro also. So we're having a double view today. One at me and one at what we're doing. Um, all right, what we're gonna do is a walk around check of the Raymond Reach. We must do a walk around check first before we operate it. As you can see, it's being charged right now. It's plugged in properly and it's being charged over here in the charging port. If you notice, it's not fully charged right now, but for um, but for this uh, video, let's go over a few things. It's a 34, 36 volts charger. Some are 48. Um, they're 48 and there's 24. Some machines are 24, some are 48. Uh, yeah, GoPro is still running. Um, so what are we doing today? So I'll show you the correct way to charge a machine and plug it in right now. First, you must press stop if you want to plug it out. See? Stop. Then it says okay. If you notice the, um, the, um, the green light says okay. It means you can unplug it. How do you unplug it? Use two hands. We're gonna have to set down this phone for a second and unplug it. Notice I'm not holding the wires anywhere. So I unplug it and um, I'm gonna plug it into the machine. If you notice the plugs are here. There's only one correct way to plug it in. You can't really screw it up. And it's plugged in. Just so you know, sometimes when people charge the machine, they mistakenly um, take the charger and plug it straight into the machine, which doesn't do anything. You have to actually charge the battery. You can charge the machine, but you can charge the battery and then connect the battery to the machine. All right, then we, we put away our charger, cable safely. Um, you can't operate any machine without doing a walk around check. So first you turn on the machine. We do a walk around check. Now the machine, as you can see, it's under the um, charging port. It's under the charging port. So we want to back it up in a safe area. I'll bring it over here in the clear open area and then complete my walk around check. Okay, looks like we are um, out of space on the iPhone, so we'll continue on the GoPro. What we do for a walk around check? All right, it's easy. Wow, there's a checklist that needs to be completed. Uh, reach safety inspection checklist. I am looking for my pen probably find one over here on one of these other machines. Yep. Nope, no pen here. Just had one. Down on this one. Down on this one. Down on this one. Oh, this is bad. I can't believe there's no pens on any of these machines. Alright. Well, I'll just go over an old, uh, old checklist. I'll go over a blank checklist with you. What's needed is... Let me get this GoPro going here. 
Okay, so the checklist, first you put the date, serial number, and operator name. After you complete it, you sign in the bottom. It's a diagram of the Raymond Reach. As you can see, I completed here. What I usually do, is, this is the afternoon shift. So before I use a whole new page, I would usually sign under the uh, guy that worked on the morning shift. So the first thing on the checklist, I'm not sure if you can see on the GoPro or not, says battery. I'll just say it out loud and point to it. So battery is basically under here. What you want to check is the plates. If these plates are, if this plate, if this plate is, is off and you turn, the battery could fall off causing major, major damage. One major thing is you don't want to operate a machine without the capacity plate. If a machine don't have a capacity plate, capacity plate, it's not safe to work. So we have that on. You have the serial number on on here. The battery connection is good. You peep under the battery, it's good. Uh, base leg. This is the base leg. The left and right is good. You're looking for any new damage, cuts to the wheel, any open or loose bolts. Um, loading wheel is good. Fork pins. You can you can actually adjust the pins over here. Adjust, lift the pins and bring the fork in or out. You do a walk around, you make sure the back tires are okay. The forks, the main thing is you wanna lift the forks all the way up and extend it all the way out. Then you come on out and you look at it again to make sure. If it, if it stays up without moving, you know that um, the hydraulic system, it's working good and it keeps it up. If it ever falls, or loose pressure, you know that there's a leak in the hydraulic system. From under here, you do not go under the machine directly in case it was to fall. At no time you should ever go under. You look for any drips on the floor for fluid. You look at the um, chains to make sure they're not loose or slack or sagging. And the cables, the hydraulic cables. Also, you look for all the wires are in place. And you do a base a basic uh, check of all the um, controls again we have a special I have a, a, a video directly on how to operate this machine this video is not how to operate but I'll just run you over again quickly two fingers to push the forks in and out and the thumb is used to bring the fork up and down okay but in your before you operate the machine every day you want to make sure that all the controls are working the shift is going working side to side shift tilt the forks are tilting up and down and the machine goes forward and backwards without any and you listen for any knocks or, or, or clicking or any weird song there is a, a noise right now that's the um, from the conveyor belt up on top all right what else okay so in case if there's ever any issue and you want to shut off the machine you can do that Let's say e p d e p o r okay so this connects and disconnect the uh, circuit in case of an emergency uh, if you can see the battery is 100% charged, it saves the time. When you turn off the machine and turn on the machine, you can operate, on the, the machine automatically does a, a check, a self-check. After that beep, it's good to go. This is the indicator for how much uh, battery, this is the in speed indicator. Turtle is slow, um, rabbit is fast, of course. Um, after you... Um, 
you would have checked all your control on the parts. You want to check the machine for breaking. The, um, dead man switch is here. You drive forward and then you release. If the machine stops, you're good to go. If the machine doesn't stop in a fair amount of time, something is wrong. We're going to drive backwards. Do a turn around. And then we're going to drive forward. And do a tight turn. Do a couple other tight turns. You, you, you try to do a, a, a number eight. So you know that all the steering control is good. You do this away from any obstacle. Again, you take, you take the forks all the way up and you drop it back down. Alright, so that's basically a walk around check. That's how you do a walk around check on the Raymond Reach. Again, my name is Raymond, coincidentally. The t-shirt actually says Raymond on it today. And this is a Raymond Reach. I really don't own the company, but my name's on all the machine, which is pretty fun. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave your comment below, and let me know if there's any other um, parts of a warehouse activity that you would like to see. Take care. Thanks, bye.